Are you tired of big heavy brick smartphones with a huge displays? Well, we have a solution for you. This is the new Cubot Pocket. Your hands and pockets will thank you. Check out this Cubot Pocket review. So we can start with unboxing. The phone comes with this little thin black box. Let's see what's inside. At the top is our keyboard pocket, we will put it aside for now and see what else we have here. Thanksgiving card. Below it we have an envelope with a quick start guide and other paperwork. On the side we will find a SIM pin, USB Type-C cable and 10 watt charger. As you can see, this smartphone also comes with a transparent protective case that will protect your keyboard pocket. Not to forget to mention that the phone comes with a pre-installed screen protector, so buying this smartphone in the package you got just about everything you need. Ok, now we can switch to phone itself. If you follow my YouTube channel regularly, then you will know that uh, we have already announced it earlier. The smartphone is recognizable by two basic characteristics, a small case and attractive design. When was the last time you had a smartphone with a 4-inch IPS screen in your hand? If you already forgotten what it looks like, you'll be reminded by a cubot pocket that fits in the palm of your hand. The screen has a QHD plus resolution of 540 by 1080 pixels and is scratch resistant and the case itself is very strong and robust thanks to the compact dimensions and the thickness of 12.5 mm and it's also very light. How it looks compared to regular smartphones, uh, we can see now in this visual comparison with the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 and the Motorola H20. The Cubot Pocket is a phone that has a 4 inch screen, so it's a really compact phone. Closer to iPhone SA, it's as an attractive option for those looking for a device that fits into even the smallest pockets of your pants and shirt. This is an interesting step on the part of the brand, which goes against the trend of the market, where we can see mobile screens are getting bigger and bigger. The Cubot Pocket measures only 119 by 58 by 20.5 mm, which is much smaller dimensions for a complete smartphone than what is currently on the market. If you go to compare, the iPhone 13 mini remains larger with the 131 mm height, uh, although it's a less thick 7.65 mm, but it is almost 5 times more expensive. On the design side, the phone looks sleek, robust and well made, under the fingers with the perfectly perforated edges and the back to it is totally anti-slippery in the hands, which is great, the back looks like what you can see some luxury phones, however you will not find any metal here, the set is 100% plastic and its weight is only 128 grams, which is great. The Cubot Pocket has a button on each side. You will find on the right side the power button, on the opposite left side a button to adjust the volume, above which is a SIM card tray that allows to insert a second SIM or extend the storage capacity via micro SD card. We have a model in black here in review, but you want a more eye-catching design, this keyboard pocket is additionally available in two different colors, red and green. The compact mobile measures 4-inch touchscreen that has a QHD plus resolution of 540 by 1080 pixels, 
which is refresh rate of 60 Hz. With such resolution on this diagonal, the definition of the image is fine and you will not see pixels at the normal reading distance. The colors are good thanks to the IPS panel, the contrast too, and even the brightness is great on the direct sunlight. Uh, there from the top of above the screen we find a selfie camera with the 5 megapixel AI beauty sensor and the face unlock function. The main one on the back side has a resolution of 60 megapixel and uh, there is a LED flash below it. While this is a phone with uh, only one camera, I can freely tell you that the images and video recording on this camera uh, is just good if not even better than the, those triple cameras with the more sensors and more megapixel phones. I have to admit that the camera pleasantly surprised me for a phone like this in this price range. Now what the kind of photos turned out on the Cubot Pocket, let's look further in this video. On the performance side, Cubot has chosen to use Unistock Tiger T310 and a processor and combines a single Cortex A75 2GHz with three Cortex A55 cores 1.8GHz. The performance will be sufficient for all your daily activities, from chatting to browsing the web, watching videos and even like playing some well-known gaming titles. At the level of the main memory, the Cubot Pocket has a 4GB of RAM and concerning the storage you can find a 64GB which can be extended by an additional 128GB of a memory card. This feature will be only possible if you are not using a second SIM. Good news, additional to Bluetooth 5.0, NFC is also included. And we have also have a dual SIM 4G network support, OTG, and a dual GPS is present, plus GLONASS, plus Galileo. Cubot Pockets offer more features than ever in this fastest and smoothest pure stock Android 11 OS out of the box. So here we have absolutely all Google functions and applications, as well as a Google Assistant. However, the Pockets system can be upgradable to a newer version of the operating system. It all works smoothly and uh, without any hiccups or slowdowns. For energy and long-term operation, there is a 3000 mAh battery that is more than enough to last up to a day and a half. Given the screen size and economical processor, Cubot Pocket is really a battery saver. In use, navigation on the mobile is fluid, playing YouTube videos F1080 pixels and taking a photo using sharing it by email show to no problem with fluidity. For all daily use, the phone is going very very well. Overall, the Cuba Pocket is a very interesting phone concept, you could even say the forgotten phone concept, small phones like they used to be. 
phone is held well in the hand and quickly forgotten in an pocket the sight of its size it really couldn't find anything to complain about the phone or finish this is a really small but a great handy cell phone that can you do all as the big ones in today's android smartphone market this cubot pocket really has no competition it is unique both in appearance and low price this Cubot Pocket is currently available on the official Cubot AliExpress store for a very good price. So don't miss out and on this great deal, maybe right now is the chance to get such an impressive mini smartphone. The official links are below this video, be sure to click on them. This will be all for today, see you soon with some new video, bye.